Casey, can you remember a time when wireless microphones were ever as easy to use as they are now? No, actually no. In fact, most manufacturers are going out of their way to um, simplify their operation to the point where really all you have to do now is switch them on. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, look, this is AVX from Sennheiser. And the mm. first thing to note about this is that it's extraordinarily compact. This is the receiver. Mm. It's basically, that's an XLR connector. So you can plug that straight into the camera or if you're using a DSLR, you can mm. mount it on this guy. Mm -hmm. And then that sits on your hot shoe of your camera and you plug that in and you've got a lead out that's all included. Mm. Um, and then you've got either a handheld or a body pack transmitter. Mm. This one comes with an ME2 mm -hmm. lapel. Yep. Um, and all of these things are USB chargeable. Yep. And the controls on this consist of power and a pair button. Yeah, so this is what they're aiming at. They're, they're aiming at the uh, the camera person who is not an audio person, who pretty much just has to... camera people. Yeah, who just has to make sure that it's charged and then plug it in and turn it on. So this is yet another product now working in the DECT band, so 1.9 uh, gigahertz uh, license free around the world. So yeah. a lot of manufacturers are moving to that now because it's not as crowded as the Wi-Fi band. Yeah, and indeed there is actually, you know, whilst this is an Australian, New Zealand version, there's some portability mm. to other countries. Not everywhere, but mm. different countries use different parts of the yeah, deck band like in different ways. For, but in, uh, for instance, in Europe, uh, you can have about 12 of these running uh, simultaneously, but in the US it's eight. Mm. So yeah, there's diplomat different implementations around the world, but yeah, effectively it's a lot freer. Yeah, and mm. I mean, I guess the other thing is that whereas in Australia, if you look at the, the 520 to 694 mm. meg range, mm. um, blocks of that are used by TV mm. stations mm. throughout the country, but in different ways in different places, mm. 1.9 gig. Yeah. No one. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, you Cordless get, phones. Yeah, well, <laughs> That's yeah. pretty much and, it. And no one really uses them. So you got up to about 30 metres of range. Uh, line of sight's a little bit more. In um, practice, you, you actually get, you can get yeah, considerably more. Really cool. Um, the cool thing about the, the transmission on this is that it, it's a two-way thing between the transmitter mm. and the receiver. And this constantly looks at what its signal-to-noise ratio is. And if it's getting a bit a bit nasty, it'll say to the transmitter, hey, bump your output power up, mm. and this will power up. Mm. Mm. Yeah, a couple of other nice little things I like about this. If you've got this connected to a, a digital camera that's got phantom on the uh, XLR, uh, it will actually turn off and on uh, with the camera. So that saves more battery time as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah, now be very clear on that. That's not saying this is a phantom powered no, receiver. No. It's not. It's triggered yes. by phantom power. Yeah, they're all running off lithium ion batteries. I, I love the, the battery. This is, this is very similar to what we've seen on the um, the D1 series, you can pull the battery pack out, little micro USB, it comes with a USB charger. Mm -hmm. um, again, same deal on the receiver. Slightly different run times, I think. Uh, oddly, the transmitters actually run for a lot longer than the receivers mm -hmm. um, on battery, but there's nothing to say you can't actually just leave this running mm. off a USB as well. That's yeah. the other option yeah. too. Yeah, so just simple charging off micro USB. So if you've got pretty much most you know devices that charge, you can just have it running or you can just charge it easily overnight. You can charge it off a laptop. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and look, I think that this sort of adds to the flexibility. Uh, I like the build quality. I think this feels really nice. It's very um, Sennheiser. It is very Sennheiser. Mm. Uh, and, and again, this is sort of like, I think to me, a step forward visually from the, you know, like the evolution range. Mm. This is just like, they, they're they always improving things, you mm. know? Like, and this is a slightly improved design. It's elegant. Mm. I think the receiver looks lovely. I think it's a good little product. Yeah, well, look, it's, it's certainly going to make life easier for just, you know, doing our shooting on the fly. Yeah, don't worry, it's AVX. Thank you so much for watching Gearbox. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking below. We'll see you next time.